you know you're new to YouTube when you film the whole entire video with your camera backwards. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about limiting beliefs. I don't know if you've heard that term before, but let me just get into what I know about them and how they've impacted my life. So a limiting belief is this voice inside your body that tells you over and over again, you can't, you can't, you can't. Why even bother trying to live your dream life? Because you can't. And it doesn't just say you can't, but it'll tell you that you're not good enough. You know, like, you're not smart enough. You're not kind enough. You don't deserve it. Those are what limiting beliefs are. And I just want to show you how in the last month, since I learned what a limiting belief was, how I've learned to work through them and reframe them for myself so that I can live this dream life that I know is out there and waiting for me. I have a lot of limiting beliefs. No, let me reframe that. I had a lot of limiting beliefs. Today, we're going to go through them all and I'm going to show you how I've reframed them so that when the thought starts bubbling up inside me, I can, sorry, I can't snap. I can just switch it and voila, I replace it with a new thought. The thing about limiting beliefs is that they've been with us for a very long time. Sometimes you can pinpoint a moment in which something happened and from then on, there was this thought process that made you feel like you weren't smart enough, fast enough, cool enough. You'll know those moments and sometimes you'll know exactly where they came from. And sometimes they're there, but they've been so deeply embedded for so long that you have no idea how they got there. It ultimately doesn't matter. If you want to take control of your mind and you want to take control of your future, you need to learn how to shut those voices down. So let's go through my list. My list. These aren't all my limiting beliefs, but they're the ones that came up when I decided, you know what, maybe I really do want to be a life coach. Maybe I really do want to push forward and make that happen for myself. And these are the thoughts that came in to me and said, no, you can't do that. So I'm going to go through them and I'm going to tell you how I've reframed them. I don't let these thoughts come out of my head anymore or out of my mouth. So this will be the last time that my limiting beliefs get energy. I'm going to think this, not that until I'm living my dream life and I'm successful and I'm rocking the hell out of this. So let's get started. I don't have enough education. Well, the truth is that I don't have a ton of conventional education. I went to school for a little while to be a journalist. Not sure how that plays into like the last 15 years of my life, but that's what I did. And I didn't even graduate because my boyfriend moved to a different city and I couldn't live without him. So I dropped out of school. Good decision, right? Um, that'll come up later. But what I tell myself is I have learned a lot and I am competent. I am an avid researcher and I think I know a hell of a lot more about the things I know than a lot of people. So I have learned a lot and I am competent. 
I'm not attractive enough. I am beautiful. It's just that simple. I am beautiful. Period. I'm not likable. Does it matter? No. But the reality is, people like me. They do. For real. They like me. You better like me. I can't trust my decisions. So again, we all have made decisions in our life where things didn't work out the way we had hoped or how we had expected. And then we learn to lose trust in our own instincts to make the right choices for our lives. And that's sad. We need to be the person that we trust the most. We have to have our own back before anybody else has our back. I will make great decisions for my future. I will. That's basically the whole story is what I'm doing right now is the right decision for me to live my life passionately and wholeheartedly and have an impact. It will be the right decision for my family. I will make great decisions. I actually don't know what I'm talking about. I am smart and learn daily what I do not know. So true. I'm not nearly as good as I think I am. It's amazing that you can have confidence, but also this huge lack of belief in yourself. It blows my mind. Like, there are so many things that I can just walk into a room and take charge of. I am a leader. But then sometimes, I sit there and I think, well, maybe I'm not good. Maybe I'm just real shitty at everything I do, but no one's figured it out yet. Not anymore. I'm just going to say to myself, I am awesome. I am totally effing awesome. I will fail. I will succeed. I will. Come along for the ride. You'll see. People won't take me seriously. I don't know where that comes from. But it's a thought that's been there a lot for me. I sometimes think that I come across as childish, maybe. That's the word I wrote down. Because I get really excited about things and I can jump around and sing songs and dance through my office. And then I think, will people respect me? But the truth is, and I know this, I am highly respected because of those things. I am highly respected because I am a competent and confident leader. I just need to let that thought go. I'm not actually funny. Well, no, I'm pretty funny. Like, I'm pretty sure if you ask my friends, they would say I was funny and unintentionally funny because most of the time when people laugh at me ridiculously, I'm not exactly sure what I've done. My friends could tell you, I'm sure. And then the one that I've been struggling with lately, right? So I've pushed through like these nine beliefs or limiting beliefs that I've had that stop me or held me back from moving into this phase of my life. And now I'm fighting with, you know, building a following, getting people to watch my videos, getting people to like me on Instagram, plug like me on Instagram, follow me there. Um, no one will follow me. So I need to tell myself and am telling myself, people will be excited to hear what I have to say and keep coming back.
that's it basically. I really truly hope that after listening and learning with me about limiting beliefs, you take the time to ask yourself, what is it that I dream about? What is it that I hope for my future? And what's holding me back? Dig in and find all the nasty, horrible, mean things you've said to yourself and write them down. Write them down one last time and honor them because they've served you in some way. And then reframe them. Write down the words that are opposite or contradictory to your limiting belief statement. Write down a positive statement about that feeling. You're not pretty enough. You're beautiful. I'm not smart enough. I'm so intelligent. It's really that simple. And when those thoughts come creeping up inside you, just say stop. Stop. I am beautiful. I am smart. I will succeed. I am entertaining. I have some really fantastic things to share with the world. Subscribe to my channel and join me on my journey to becoming me. Watch my first video and all its awkwardness. I think this one might be a little bit better. Let me know. I'm working on it. Have a fantastic day. Take care.